Taylor dropped the latest breadcrumb late this morning, a brand new tease for her frenzied fans. She just confirmed Fortnite will be the first single off her new album and will feature Post Malone. The billionaire pop superstar is expected to add to her already bulging bank account with the album that's expected to sell more than a million copies in its first week. Have you heard the new album yet? I will admit that I have. Variety's music editor Jem Aswad spilled some Taylor tea with me. My first impressions are actually surprised because it's much more raw about heartbreak than any of her albums before have been. The other ones had an element of revenge or anger or, you know, or some sadness, but it was more from a distance. And this one is really raw and immediate. Fans all around the world, like the ones here at the famed Grove in LA, have been analyzing every hint, clue, and Easter egg that Taylor's been dropping about the tortured poet's department. The pop-up at the famed outdoor mall, The Grove in Los Angeles, includes a card catalog with 72 drawers. Six of them are open. Some fans speculating the 72 could be for the 72 months that Taylor and Joe Alwyn were together before they split. Like my relationship for six years, we've had to dodge weird rumors, tabloid stuff, and we just ignore it. Then there's the birdcage. I don't like your kingdom cage. Taylor famously perched herself inside one on her Look What You Made Me Do music video a song that she says was about realizing that you couldn't trust certain people. But Jem told me there may be a huge surprise. It looks like a lot of these songs are about Joe Alwyn, but also even more about Maddie Healy from the 1975, who people, they never really confirmed that relationship. Maddie was her rebound romance from Joe, and he's the front man for the band with hits like he was spotted dancing at one of Taylor's concerts last year. I'll just come out and say it. The first song on this album sounds like a 1975 song. That cannot be an accident. I doubt that's a coincidence. If current love Travis knows anything, he hasn't been saying. He was just spotted giving Taylor a lift at Coachella this past weekend and revealed to us at the Super Bowl she'd already given him a sneak peek. And it is unbelievable. I can't wait for uh, her to shake up the world when it finally drops. But like any smart boyfriend, he wouldn't be dropping any clues. I leave that up to her. We'll have all the answers, or will we, <laughs> when the Torture Poets Department drops tonight. <laughs>